Can you guys guess why this one caught my eye? I see my. Ah, oh, where's the skip plate? Yeah, I don't like that. Damn the cloud. That sounds bad. This was around the corner. A little Bronco R. Look at the size of that ball joint. Maybe by the next video we have a new rig, maybe. All right, so today, guys, we're actually gonna go look at something different. So let's look at uh, stock trucks. They're all well and fine, but a part of me wants to get something that's already built up. So I'm actually gonna go look at a Gen 1 that's all built up. And some of you guys may already know this truck. It's the Raptor Core truck. Guy's company's called Hummer Core. He builds a bunch of Hummers and all that. He has a shop and he also sells some trucks and he's been doing Raptors recently. He's got a pretty nice truck, an SBC built truck. We're gonna go check it out, see if it's worth it. Unfortunately, the truck's in pieces right now, so we won't be able to take it out on a test drive, but we'll be able to get a take a look at it, see what kind of shape it's in, how does it look and all that stuff. Go from there. And he said that they're rebuilding the front uh, drive axles, which I've heard the SBC kit tends to pull too much travel and that's why the boots fail prematurely. I have a buddy of mine that keeps going through those issues. Maybe that's the issue you see, I don't know, but we're about to check it out. Hopefully he lets us film. He said he, he'd rather not, but let's see if he lets us. So unfortunately, Brian wouldn't let us film while the truck was all apart. So we set up an appointment for when the axles were rebuilt. And this time I took Ethan with me to kind of help me take a look at the truck. And we were hoping to do a full pre-purchase inspection, really take a look at everything that's wrong on the truck, see what's all the good, get a test drive for it, get a feel for it, and see what kind of condition it was in and see what we had to do to rehab. So that's what you're gonna see us do next. It was sitting in Baja XQ. Baja XQ is just down the road from Raptor Core. So we had them do a pre-purchase inspection as well, just to kind of take a better look underneath, put it on a lift and really take a look at what's wrong with the truck. So that's what you're gonna see next. Sitting in Baja XQ. We actually had these guys do a pre-purchase inspection. We're gonna go check it out. So this is what we're here to look at. Can you guys guess why this one caught my eye? Check out the back tires. The back tires are pretty bold. This one's flat. I mean, like we need a better way to hold some of this stuff, but it looks pretty good. Considering yeah. we're gonna get underneath and take a look. It's already got a radio in it, bud. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Got an icon, it looks like. Give it a good check. Yeah, the fenders are basically white from all the pitting. Now, this should be a warning to all of you guys. There's a reason why the Raptors have steps. If you remove those steps, this is what happens to your fenders. They just get sandblasted and pelted, and there's nothing you can do about it but put the stock step back on. So, let's take this as a PSA. Don't remove the stock steps off a Raptor, or you're going to ruin your fenders. Everything looks pretty good back here. Open that up. Lift it up, right? Yeah, lift it up. There's no little handle over there. Push that side down. That's weird, that's supposed to flip down, right? Cause isn't the jack and all that stuff behind it? It's got some stuff back there. I'm looking for like rust and all that stuff down here. We're gonna have to get underneath it as well to see if it's got any rust. I see no rust down there. I see mud. <laughs> Much to be expected, bud. Ah, where's the skip plates? It, yeah, but it, it's missing both the mid and the rear skip plate. I can understand with this thing, but they're like, no, even this, the regular skip plate should be able to clear that. Huh, we're gonna have to get some skip plates for this thing. Yeah. Either that or get some fabbed up. Is that too expensive or no? No, it's not too crazy. Ethan, do me a favor, bud. Look under here. Huh? Look under here on both sides, make sure that there's no rust on the cab. God. Uh, all the sensors and a bunch of lights are just sitting here dangling. Hey, it has a little connector back here for a winch. Any rust on this side? Okay, check the other side for me, please. Okay. Now, this was something strange that I've never noticed before, but the SEC kit is not sitting flush on the frame. If you look, there's gaps in the front or in the back, and it's just not sitting flush, which is something I've never noticed before about this kit. pretty decent from back here. I mean, a lot of rust, but that's normal. The plate light's all loose back here. Looks like there's no hardware for it. That's gotta be fixed up. At least this is here. Exhaust tips are all bent. Like there's only one exhaust? Yeah, and it's bent. Does this stuff come included as well? I think so. Everything that's on it now is included. 
Even the Eagle Jack as well? I think so. Hop in there and see if you see anything else. Yeah. This is held back by a strap. Get past the shade. See, these are all busted off. They gotta be replaced. Yep. We do have chase lights too. We gotta figure out the connection for that. Yeah. We have to replace the antenna, to, antenna too. Yep. You got your own little supply of zip ties right here. Yeah, I saw it. That's a pretty good idea, actually. All the lights turn on? Nope. None of them? None of them. Let me see something. Oh, there we go. They're all on. Now, one thing you guys should always check, make sure that these work. Do the tilt first, so you don't run into any problems. Cause you wanna make sure that they're not stuck. So let's try it out. It works. That's good news. Let's open up the engine. Whoa. Yeah, it's got the funky horn. So, see, this this always bothers me when I see this brass NASA cables. And Ooh. it's because of the amp steps and a bunch of other stuff he's got going. A couple of these you wanna check. He's still running the stock reservoir, which you read the forums, there's a lot of issues there. And then let's see if Fuse 27 has been done. Nope. Fuse 27 is still there and it's not relocated over here. So that also has to be done. I mean, overall, it's in good shape considering. Let's see if we can get test drive it now. I mean, all things considered, it's in pretty good shape. It's in great shape. The only thing that scares me right now is the no skid plates underneath. Which we can fix that. Now, since we're here, we're at Baja HQ. We noticed this was around the corner. So we're gonna go check that out. This thing is fucking awesome. What do you got? Well, it's a race truck, bud. See the Lauren system over there? Yeah. What does that say on it? Someone just drew on it. It says, Poop. Look at this thing, man. This is a proper truck. Beautiful is what it is. The little Bronco R. Look at the size of that ball joint. Oh, that's massive. It's beautiful, bud. That's how they fill it up. Push it in, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta vent it out. Well, you have to vent it out to get it to fill up quicker. That's cool. Yeah, this car is cool. Got a couple codes because none of the parking aids and all that shit are on there. Yeah, you're good. One thing you are gonna notice is how loud it is. Phone on the outside so you can hear all that. That's the problem with bypass. Bypass shots are loud. Damn, that's loud. It is, right? That clanking. Can't avoid it. That clanking noise is the bypass shots. Bypass shocks are loud. You just can't avoid it. Okay. And that clanking in the back seat, I already found what it is. There's yes. a bar behind the seat. The bar is back there. We gotta, we gotta find a better spot for that. First impression, what do you think of it? I mean, I don't like on everything that I'm seeing underneath. The fact that it's missing skid plates, I don't like. That's gonna cost us a grand or two to replace. We gotta fix the front end, right? There's something going on with the front end. Uh, we'll try that out on the way back. I also don't like all the codes because it doesn't have any of the rear sensors. So yeah, it holds the gears. Yep. Thing's not gonna win any fucking speeding competitions. Mm -hmm. Doesn't take off like the rapper does, that's for sure. Nope. The braking's a little fucking weird. Maybe under five miles an hour. I hate how you can't change on the fly. You can't change modes on the fly. This thing's noisy. Mm -hmm. Look at the cables in the back. We gotta fix that too. Yep. 
Okay, so where are you gonna test the four wheel? I can see if she'll go in the four wheel drive. Yeah, you heard that little. That sounds bad. Let's see how this thing does a U turn. I've heard the bulkhead ones can't really turn. Yeah. It, it took every last bit of the space it needed. Okay. So we finally got done. We got a pre-inspection report from Baja HQ. And you know, the truck's not perfect. A few of the ball joints need replacing. Brakes, the rear definitely needs some work. The lights out. It's, it's all little stuff, honestly. It's little stuff that, that's expected with the build like that. The biggest problem though is the front axle. There's something wrong with the front axle. Maybe they weren't rebuilt correctly. I'm not sure. The, the good thing is that's gonna get fixed. The other little stuff probably won't. That's something for us to fix, which would be kind of fun for us to fix, yeah. right? But yeah, I liked it. I liked it. It's a compromise though, right, Ethan? It's yes. not as fast. It's not as peppy. It's not as fast, but it might be smoother. It, well, on the trails, it will be. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely louder. For yes. you guys that don't know, if you go bypass shocks, they get loud. They are loud. But we knew that going in. And I think overall, it's going to be a good truck. I mean, it, I think if a regular person looked at this, it'd probably be like, oh, it's all rough and, you know, it's all rusted out and everything like that. No, it's it's not bad. The truck looks like it's in good shape. Yep. So I think next steps is we got to talk to Brian, who's the owner at Raptor Core, and uh, try to make a deal with him. Hopefully, he's open to making a deal with us and give us a good price on that thing. And, it, it, you know, it's not perfect, so it's it's still going to be a good project. You know, she's all built up. She's not perfect. We're going to have to work on her a little bit to get her perfect. What are your thoughts on it, Ethan? It's definitely a compromise from what we had. Yeah, it's not as peppy. Not as peppy not as fast doesn't want to take off but it's different right i mean it's it's, it's so more analog different. there's no yeah. drive modes or anything like that it's gonna be more based on our skills now it's Don't gonna be different <laughs> do not crash it we definitely have to take care of those skid plates she's gonna need skid yeah, plates she's gonna need skid plates. do not want to run without skid think of all the sandblasting that's gonna happen under there so i know all that gonna... stuff is exposed all the important stuff Ooh. gonna need skid plates so we gotta work on that all right guys with that put any questions or comments below don't forget to subscribe and Hopefully, maybe by the next video we have a new rig, maybe. I don't know. We'll keep looking. See you guys on the next one.